you. This is one of my favorite books. It is called Love Monster. I don't know if you guys have heard it, but it's really cute and funny. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Love Monster. Love Monster. Welcome to Cutesville, home of the Fluffy. Fluffy. <laughs> this is a monster. Hello, monster. I think you'll agree. He's a little bit funny looking to say the least. He lives in a world of cute, fluffy things, <laughs> which makes being funny looking pretty darn hard. Official pile of extreme cuteness. <laughs> you might have noticed that everyone loves kittens and puppies and bunnies. You know, cute, fluffy things. But nobody loves a slightly hairy, I suppose a bit googly-eyed, monster. Poor monster. Poor monster. This might be enough to make a monster feel, well, a bit down in the dumps. Not, but not being the moping around sort, he decided to set out and look for somebody who'd love him just the way he was. He looked high. He looked low. He looked middle-ish. <laughs> Uh-oh, he's gonna crash. He looked inside and outside. More than once, he thought that maybe, just maybe, he'd found what he was looking for. But as it turned out, things were never quite as they seemed. Scary shadow. Yeah, it was a shadow, huh? Mm -hmm. oh, yes, it would be fair to say that his search did not go well. And then it didn't go well some more. Oh, oh poor God. Yeah. Cool. It didn't go well for such a long time, in fact, that it began to get dark and scary and well, not very nice. So the monster, having lost all his oomph, decided it was time to give up and go home. Bus to Cutesville. But in the blink of a googly eye, everything changed. changed. <laughs> <laughs> you see, sometimes when you least expect it, Love finds you. Oh, I think it's so cute. Me too. For the mom, oh, not that. Welcome to Cutesville, home of the fluffy and slightly hairy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. I hope you guys are able to find some love. All right, bye guys.